I asked a question on the Jensen Club site and somebody responded with, have you finished testing your compressions yet? I didn't answer that question because I hadn't finished, no. And I'd only done a part job because of how difficult it was. I had this old thing, worked really well on the MGB and a couple of other cars, but you have to hold that on. That's really difficult to do that. The other old one I've got is this one, which you can screw in a bit like an old tire pressure gauge. It pushes that out. Unfortunately, when it's upside down, facing downwards or sideways, I'm not sure exactly how accurate it gets when this starts pushing out. It just wants to, to fall out. So I tried that, um, gave up on that. I've bought one that would be much easier to use with the Jensen. One with a gauge, which is what I'm going to use now. So to do the compression testing, I've got to remove all the spark plugs. This is the right side. How on earth do you manage to access those uh, spark plugs up there, which would be six and eight? <coughs> I've got no idea. I'm going to remove the inner shield and see where we go from there. With the inner shield removed, I can probably access fairly easily number six. As you can see, that's what's left of spark plug lead for number four. That's the condition of spark plug lead number six. You obviously can't get to number eight down there. And you've got to do it from underneath. So that's going to be interesting. It is possible, obviously, because you guys all do it. I have to attach this first on spark plug number eight. Push that on first. I couldn't get the ordinary ratchet um, 3.8 drive in there, so I had to use um, a spanner to do it. So on the spark plug, it looks like that. And of course, it all has to be done by feel through there. Fortunately, none of the spark plugs were too tight. And that's the spark plug. That's the spark plug from number two cylinder. Number four. Spark plug from number six. And spark plug from number eight. They are all champion. RJ12YCs. It certainly seems a lot more room on the left hand side of the car than on the right hand side. This was a much easier process on this side and I was able to just simply get that straight on to that far spark plug which would be number seven. So there's the spark plugs in order uh, this will be number one, three, five, and seven. So number one, I changed number one out and put this one on. And that's when I did a quick check of the compression. Number three, cylinder number three. This was from cylinder number five. And then finally, this was from cylinder number seven. You set the gauge up, you make sure the throttle plate's fully open. You should remove the HT lead from the uh, coil. 
and then turn the engine over five times. It's supposed to be a, a warm engine, but I certainly don't have a warm engine. I've taken all the spark plugs out, so it should turn over fairly easily. So the result on cylinder number one is, is 30. The result on cylinder three is 79, 78. The result on cylinder five is 110 PSI. The results on cylinder number seven, again, just over 110. So, Cylinders five and seven are roughly equal. This would be cylinder number two, 127. Cylinder number four running at about 50 PSI. Cylinder number six is only running at 55. On cylinder eight, I'm only getting 30, 31, 32. My phone died as I was working my way round. Um, I did the wet test, two good squirts into each cylinder. Um, they produced no appreciable difference. That means there are issues with the valves rather than any issue with the pistons but maybe i'll get a better idea when actually we take the heads off and by we uh, i've chickened out and i've called in the expertise of steve um and um we're going to do these together.